Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Hauls for our next video of the Amazon Merch Q4 Challenge. Ryan, what will we be doing today after we choose a winner for the All Sunsets? We're going to talk uh, strategy as far as like what's been working, what hasn't been working, how we are approaching Amazon Merch on your account, which last night there was tier ups. We missed the tier ups. Congrats to everybody that got tiered up. We Wait, only... How do you get a tier up? We got to make more sales. Oh man, we missed the tier up, guys. I thought we made it. Tier 25 is not... Uh, where we want to be it's good because it's not tier 10 but we mm -hmm. want to be in tier 100 and then 500 and then 1000 and then 2000 and then 4000 long then, way to go yeah long way to go all right let's pick a winner all righty so this is from the last video which thank you to the commenters yes you can it, see here it was about the karen meme because we genuinely did not understand uh, oops. Oops, so weird. we went ahead and we used a comment picker and i was holding control that's why yeah that makes sense so you can hear control. Zoom in. there you go all right we okay. already got the comments so you can hit start Alrighty, for our lucky winner. For All Sunsets. Thank you to All Sunsets for sponsoring the pre-made graphics that we use all the time. For uh, And Karen, of course. Someone named Karen Wilson won. <laughs> so I am glad that uh, that you could at least come out ahead with um, having kind of like the <laughs> meme name of the year. Yeah. Uh, so congrats yeah, to you. Yeah, congrats, Karen. We will follow up in the comments about what to do to get your All Sunsets license. Yep already we hope you enjoy it thank you again to all sunsets for sponsoring and if you guys want to check them out link in the description you can show marielle's channel some uh some love and yeah some support. definitely 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 okay so like let's get you want to show the sales that we made Go ahead. how many sales did you make? we made two sales well yep. three in total but two really yep um so again it was the okay hello my name is karen i need to speak to the manager the v-neck and then another one of the normal t-shirts for men it seems like. Actually, so, I don't know here. No, it said men. Look. Okay. Yeah. So no, that's no, youth. No, that's, that's youth. youth. Okay. So I was actually I noticed when I was researching this. This is on a separate video, but I didn't see a lot of people offering it in youth. I think that was on my live stream for my members only. When I uh, genuinely didn't have anything pre-planned, we researched it. We found this. I was like, okay, I see this is selling well. People aren't doing a good job. Yeah. With the designing, so I went ahead, did it my my own way, in a way that was different. Kind of different. I mean, basically the same. Anyways. I, I was thinking that it wasn't safe to offer it in youth size, but I went ahead and did it on your account anyways because I didn't think hey. about it. And uh, it looks like it actually worked. So It worked. So that's good. So yep. let's get more sales there. We've uploaded... Uh, go to your Manage tab. Close out of this real quick. So as you can see, 25 out of 25 slots used. Two out of two uploaded today. So what we did here... All right, I'll just take over for two seconds. Okay. So we uploaded the Karen. Can I speak to manager? We have the text-only version on a standard and long sleeve. We have a text plus small... Uh, name tag on a v-neck and a standard and then we've got the like really large name tag on a long sleeve standard zip hoodie and pullover hoodie so you see like the hoodie zip hoodie standard long sleeve because it is cold weather so i noticed on my own personal account that the like long sleeve stuff was selling well so we went ahead and we did that but what we we're going to show today oh yeah and let's just talk strategy too but we're going to show how we easily convert a design from standard dimensions into hoodie and the same tool that we will show you is completely free, by the way. It works for uh, pop sockets, phone cases, etc. That's really nice. Yeah. I didn't know that tool existed, so, so I we, thought that the dimensions that Amazon Merch gave you for the template for Photoshop or whatever. But there's different Illustrate. dimensions for different products. So. I thought I didn't know. Yeah. I thought they were all the same. So we did this niche. It looks like we might have been a little late. I mean, either that or we just didn't get any sales for whatever reason. But we we spent four slots on I can't. I have plans in the garage, and. Uh, no, no sales to speak of yet, but just trying to chase after the big trending, yeah, high demand stuff. Um, it definitely would be better to do it earlier because I feel like once I've shared it, and I'm not taking credit for sharing all the trends, but I do my Sunday night video, and like that was in it, and it seems like after I'll announce something, the number of designs triples in, in like 24 hours. So we were a little bit late there. And then this one, I don't think I shared yet, but it'll probably be on this week's. But this boner donor shirt, I just thought it was a funny meme, and I didn't understand it when I saw it doing my prep for last week's video, but we are going to upload some of these boner donor shirts because uh, somebody actually, when I shared it with one of my private groups, they said that it was from the new like Adam Sandler Netflix movie for Halloween, which we're going to watch yes. at some point soon. But if we had just watched it earlier, you know, I know. Like, if we had watched this the day it came out, us knowing how to do Amazon merch, we could have made serious money. Serious, I know. Serious I guess money. the key takeaway is watch more TV, people. You never know. I mean, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, no, I would hate recommending that. <laughs> I'm but kidding. Watch less TV. But yeah, it's like when you are watching, just keep an eye out yeah. for stuff like this because this is perfect. It's like a movie that everybody's going to see, a funny, low-hanging fruit, you know. And some of your biggest sales have come from stuff like exactly. that, too. Like, they really have. Yeah. Because this is creating demand. And, I mean, 
there's no Netflix shop selling the shirt. So it's, I mean, technically, yeah, yeah. is it protected by copy? Sure. Yeah, pretty much everything is, though. There's hardly, there's seldom is there an original thought that's not, because of everything being digitized now, I'm going to go on another rant. But seriously, with the internet, everything's digitized and recorded and kept on the record. So it's like, if you just extend copyright law and how it's supposed to work to the internet, everything, there's no more original thoughts. There's no more original sentences. Boner donor, that's been said before somewhere. So, yeah. you know, and it's probably on a t-shirt before. I don't know, I'm, I'm getting off of, you know, technically I'm in the wrong for saying what I just said, but I know some people are just contentious to say like, it was in a movie, so sell it. The reality is you're only in the wrong if you get a rejection, if you get it pulled, and if you somehow end up in court because you made $5 in royalties and Netflix sues you for your $5 long-winded way of saying like if i see this in a movie i'm selling it all day i don't yeah, care. yeah yeah agreed no. yeah i know that's not a good stance to take but i probably wouldn't say it on my own personal channel put it that oh, way what? Well, thank you. <laughs> but it's just the truth i mean like seriously how often do you see a design well plus if you already see it then it's copyrighted yeah, it's so uh, yeah you know agreed the copyright protections extend all okay let's resize some merch right, go ahead. show them how to use merch resize this is a free tool and you can access it at merchresize.com so we're just gonna link in the description yes merchresize.com i will add that so you just add it in there. We just dragged it and dropped it. And then you can come here and choose from pop socket, hoodie, iPhone case, Samsung case. So what do you want to try? Pop socket? Yeah. So, I mean, once you've dragged and dropped your design, and this is meant to do like standard dimension goes in, and then you can just hit the download button. But you can see over there, it formats it for you. So it put it on a black background because with pop sockets, you don't do transparent. You do a base color. Okay. So now you've got, you know, the pop socket. Go ahead and switch the, the drop down uh, 100%. But switch pop socket, like just show that it works for hoodie. It works for iPhone case and Samsung. So the reason there's a difference between the phone cases is because, like, we both use Google Pixels. Uh, so sorry, iPhone people. But yep. I'm an iPhone hater, and I got Marielle on board. But <laughs> she's paying more for less. Sorry. Uh, not that we are <laughs> not that we all aren't all getting gouged for these these little devices that spy on us all day, 24-7. I but, love my Google Pixel, though. I do. Yeah. and uh, But the difference between those two phone cases is, like, where the, the camera lenses are. So this will adjust yeah, the designs. Yeah, that makes sense. So go here. I think I've mocked one up. Okay, let me go. Yeah, yawning. Sorry for all my yawns, guys. Mm. All right, so here we are. And I uploaded the standard, the hoodie, the pop socket, and the phone case just to show you that it does work. All of these were resized from, you know, our single attempt real, real How quick. How did you get the designs in here? So I made this first, you know, and then yeah. when I export it, turn off the background, save. Then we went to merch resize, wherever it is, right here, and downloaded all of them, which is what you see here. So we've got, you know, five files from the one design. Oh, okay. So I see it now. Yeah. And then all you have to do, honestly, is it. come up to the new design prompt, select products. I always yeah. deselect everything, then do all the dot coms. And then it's just the so standard will apply automatically. Even though that the hoodie will apply to the two hoodies. Pop oh, so you got to go in and manually click on the different ones. Yeah, and look, it even knows not to add the iPhone upload to the Galaxy. So even though, because you know what I mean, it'll add the, uh, it, we did the standard and it uploaded to all the standard dimension ones. That makes sense. And but then just like the PopSocket, this and this needed downloads. And the, the hoodie. And the two hoodie hoodies. needed <clears throat> downloads. So that was it. I mean, merch resize, it's completely free. It doesn't actually upload your designs either. So it's not stealing them. It just runs locally on your computer. So, but you only have, well, first you have zero remaining slots. And coming back here to strategy, um, you know, we were, what were we doing? We were deleting two designs each day now. You know, we took a stab at some Halloween designs. You know, like, what's up, my witches? And whatnot. Hey, mine, mine, that was good. It's a good one. So is this, but I don't really get it. Oh, quarantine, I don't know. Either way, <laughs> those weren't, we didn't get traction there. Um, although I do have to shout out real quick. Somebody from, looks like we didn't use that design from yours. Oh, this one right here. <clears throat> Somebody that's actually in my merch course, I didn't know. It's so funny now. Like, I'm seeing, like, the reach of my channel. Because <laughs> somebody used this graphic from All Sunsets in a design, and it said uh, quarantine ween I think. Mm -hmm. And they used, like, my curved text tutorial. They put 2020 on the pumpkin, but they were using All Sunsets. And I, I shouted them out in my video last night talking about evergreens versus trends. Just completely randomly. I was like, I was like, oh, I recognize this graphic from All Sunsets. And the dude was like, yeah, I'm in your course. It's me. <laughs> I was like, oh man, you're killing it. Cause it was like a really, I mean, it wasn't like making rich or anything, but it was a good selling uh, low BSR Halloween With this 2020. this design from All Sunset. Yeah, yeah. He just changed the text and he curved it and he put 2020 on the pumpkin. So while we failed to make a sale with it, you know, people are out here succeeding. I tried to curve the text, but I was having trouble. Yeah, yeah. We'll, it takes we'll more time than we were really spending initially. Cause we were just trying to get those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I spent an hour we we're trying, trying to get, get these 25 curved. slots up first and yeah then, then once we start recycling like deleting the designs that haven't sold and replacing with uh you know 
that's when we can get into more. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. cool. So does that conclude our our little lesson much, today? Yeah. So this is what we got going on here. Um, I guess those aren't really ours, but these ones are. So we got this one, this one, and I guess just two so far. Didn't we have four? Am I wrong? Maybe it was just showing it, but they weren't published. <gasps> oh man. Yeah, these are Karen ones. Yeah. Well, also, look, we look what we did with the Karen. We we put red text with the name tag on a uh, white shirt just to be different. But I mean, my little idea with the big name tag, it might not be uh, in high demand. It might just be that I tweaked it and people don't like it. I was just trying to be different, you know, yeah, any yeah. little variation. I like it. Cool. cool. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much again for watching Mary J's Hauls. I hope you come back next time. Make sure to click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notifications button. We are putting like two videos a week out pretty That's much. Um, so follow our progress, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.